Okay. You can join me. Uh, okay, we already did this. reason we're doing this again is because I deleted the save, the, the video file. <sighs> the that's okay. The ones back at you, impossibly wide. We're gonna speed run this. All of this sitting beneath moonrise, for how long and how deep is it going? Okay, well... Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. I think that guy was down here. I have an idea. What? Kill these mind flares. Oh, uh, these ones never attacked us, I don't think. Uh, there were some that did. When we yeah, went they're into... just the ones that were in the room, so the ones in the hallways. Are no, the there. the ones in the hallway. If they saw us fighting, they came and fought us. They did. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna kill this one because it's right here. You hit me. Look, when there's a bunch of people walking around, it's hard to specifically target the brains. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna kill Chop. You're in my way. Um, move over here. Okay, now we're gonna have to fight all of them. It doesn't really matter. We already know that there's a free Healy thing around here, so. Right. Thanks for contributing, Scratch. You're amazing. Sarcasm. I'm sorry. I can't stay mad at you. Look at him. He's just a good boy. And the other ones haven't even gotten to us yet. Yeah, this goes all the way down here. Ah, I hit the. I clicked on the ground. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm thinking we should just go in and attack Chop right away because we know that he'll get involved anyways if we go attack the, uh... Yeah. Death Ward. Why are we in turn-based mode? Uh, I'm... I have haste. I'm hastened. Oh, you hastened. Okay. Oh, now that you're in battle. Okay, never mind. We're all in battle now. <laughs> well, so much for peace. Have to keep going. Sorry, and where is your mage hand right now, anyway?
So, I guess the downside of us speedrunning is, is we're getting gonna get less dialogue. Um, I guess we can still show this stuff that's relatively unique, like. Not everyone does this. Like, jumping down the hole is probably pretty common. But... Man. I don't know. Uh, I, don't think I should've... I should've brought some of our brains down. From camp. Do you think any of those brains are compatible, though? Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, Chap didn't really say much anyway. Yeah, he was basically just like, oh, I have to like cut all these guys up. Head empty. Yeah. Chop, need to chop, chop, chop. Something like that. Okay, so... Sometimes the only way out is through. I forgot these guys were right behind that door. You forgot they were right behind the door? Yeah. Oh. I was kind of wondering, because like, if you had Shadowheart up front, she can pretty much just use turn dead yeah. on them. Because they all just like run straight here, they're not exactly thoughtful. But yeah, these are the reason we attacked Chop outright, because he's not actually aggressive. Um, but when he sees you fighting these guys, then he's like, oh, oh, I guess they're enemies. Now that all the mind flares and stuff are dead, the Starion should be able to hide this time around this battle. Um, yeah. He couldn't really hide. Just all the elected hours and stuff behind us. And you. Upcasting does more damage. That's about what I expect. I'm 
might do that just because we can heal after this anyways. Some bunched up. Why don't you go ahead and stand next to the sphere, huh? Sphere turn. <laughs> Smash. Unfortunately, all these zombies have undead fortitude, so they get to come back with one HP whenever a kill would normally kill them. Yeah. There's not really good hiding spaces around here anyway, so... I'm not sure... One undead fortitude used up. Yep. Oh boy, scratch. You may be wondering where Shadowheart is. Oh, nice. Did you hit your flaming sphere? I tried not to. I guess it was in the way. That's okay. I, it only was one hit away anyway. I'm gonna keep you a little bit back because I don't want them breaking concentration on call lightning. Are you having Shadow Art come up behind them? Is there another way in? I think so. Oh, I yeah. think there's a door in the back. Um, once these two skeleton dudes are gonna die. Or once they do die, I mean.
All right, give yeah. me a, give me a second to set up Shadowheart. Okay. Good yet? One second. Oh, I see her coming around. Invisible hand. Yeah, don't worry about him. He's just there so once one of these guys gets undead fortitude, he's just gonna punch him and try and take him out. I see. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess that was your turn. Well, hold on. She's not at the top of the order, so she can't do anything, right? She's on the same turn as you. What? But it's the Starion's turn, and there's two enemies in between me and... Uh, why does How? it say... Okay, whatever. I hit end turn, but it didn't do anything. Well, can she do anything? Or are you good? I tried to end her turn. But yeah, but like, you're not doing anything else with her, right? You just asked me to wait. I'm done. That's why I was trying to end my turn. I'm just making sure. Any chance this is like a little hidden corner? Not really. Well, I'm confused why I let you move her anyway, because it was supposed to be a Starion and then these two enemies, and then Scratch Triss and Shadow Heart. Yeah, I think something something's wrong with the game. I mean, it was a little glitchy when we were playing this area last time, too. It won't let me end her turn. Well, let me get through, like, Trissa's stuff, and hopefully you'll be able to do it after that point. Oh, I can target Shadowheart.
Um, I think maybe I kind of put Shadowheart in a weird, like she's supposed to be with a star in limo or something. Oh, he actually rose that guy. He didn't even go up there last time. This is dumb. What's dumb? What do you think is dumb? Shadowheart. Her whole situation. Yeah. She can't do anything. It comes back around to her turn and her... Her abilities haven't refreshed, like I can't do anything. Take you. Yeah, I don't know what's up with her. That's really weird. Why didn't I upcast that? <laughs> yeah. Last time we had troubles, it was with Shadowheart as well, remember? I think it has something to do with coming out of turn based mode into attack. Yeah, I think that's what happened the last time we did this stuff too. When we were trying to sneak up to free, um. Aelin. That was the same situation, so. What should I do? Hmm. Oh, I think Shadowheart's gonna work this time. Oh, good. She, the, the game's not letting me control her now, because it's not her turn. I can't remember who I've targeted. You two and you. Bye. Smoke power. And both of them. Last time he just kind of went for us. Is she working? All right. Can't target that guy because he's out of sight, huh? Kill him. 
May as well. <laughs> turns the call light I have anyway. Nothing else close. It's fine, we would have needed to kill him eventually anyway. Critical miss. That sucks. Can you reach from all the way down here? No. Way too far away. At least you're closer, I guess. on my feet. At the ready. hand take him out. Oh. I just smacked him. Time for a new brooch.
Sounds like fun. <laughs> Probably unnecessary, but... Yeah. Putrefication. I don't know what that does. I'll strike you down. Uh, he's um dead. I see. Yeah. Oh, I lit the mysterious liquid on fire. I didn't know it was flammable. Me neither. I'm glad none of us were standing in it. Um. Whoops. What? Well, I was gonna attack with the mage hand or disengage or something with it first. Oh, you killed um, your mage hand. And then I accidentally targeted on it instead because I forgot to cancel the attack before clicking on its portrait to switch to it. It's fine. I can summon more of them. Yay. Okay, we already know breaking all these containers does nothing. The profane wombs. Yeah. Can't afford to stay idle. All right. Um. There's o there's pretty much only one brain we need. Is that's the one behind the door? I don't know if I told you this, but it gave me a buff. Oh, did it? Oh. You didn't really tell me anything about him. You just listened to the one that was. Wanted to perform or whatever. I'm a dancer. I need to sing for whatever. Okay, well, you can go get that. It's uh, behind the puzzle. You mean I have to figure out the puzzle? And I can do the puzzle if you want to just go mess around with the brains, just so you can show it off, I guess. your own. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you. Just got to guide them through the nodes. Let's see this one. 
I patch. Uh, who knows where Mole is? Uh, you failed to check. Not to do it. It's just to arcane it. Alright, well, I did the puzzle. Much faster time this time now that I better understand right. how the nodes work, how you move them. Give brain. I will give brain. Maybe I need more pockets. Send these to camp. And send this to Max. Uh, I gave you these w equipments, I think. I'll give them back to you. Some, like, psychic damage stuff. And this sword. I don't think any of us are proficient with this type of weapon. Our destiny design. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory. If not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. The monk-like Githzerai, sibling race to the warrior Githyanki. Their contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Elithids. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the Gake either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Warriors of the mind. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Gake is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They okay, destroyed um, us for it and kept me as a trophy. I don't think there's really anything else in here. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. An unusually cautious fairy tickle runs across the back of your mind and the edge of your soul. Your patron bids you caution before agreeing to this pact. The monk isn't telling you everything. My people dwell oh, in limbo, so a realm of pure chaotic thought. With my mind gone, perhaps I'm talking to the brain. I see that. Perhaps not. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. I do not. The Gake have been warping flesh for millennia. Who knows what damage they can undo? It is my mind they enslave. It is my mind that must die. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. 
It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch, but you feel something left behind, a fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I... Cool. Uh, yeah, so this mind barrier, it gives me advantage on intelligence saving throws. Nice. Does it go away? Uh, I looked it up online. They say it goes away if you die. Oh. Well, just don't die. Said the done, really. Well, go save the devil. Uh, I'm gonna use the pod first. The Healy pod. Oh, right. I already did that. Um, yeah, you can go talk to the guys in the barracks if you want. I had to succeed a check to convince them that I wasn't suspicious so I guess you can see if you can succeed that check this time or do you want this fresh mind to talk to what there's one by this place I just found I'm sending it to you oh yeah I talk I mean I don't know I already did all this stuff. I know. It's still like, yeah, I show it off, you know. Not that you've ever really cared about that, I guess. Bring death. General Thorm was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. Okay, well, and this is important, you okay. Trying to pull rank? And yet not a word of concern for our dear general. I shall present your bones to General Thorm as retribution for what you did to him. Oh. Uh, did you not succeed the deception check? Well, I didn't try. Oh, you didn't? What did you tell her? I said, oh, you're throwing around accusations to at a trusel. Okay, well, we didn't fight him last time because I succeeded the deception check and they're just like... She was just like... Ah, oh, well, I don't need you guys. You're just like lowly peons, basically. Why is everything on fire? Uh, there was a big fire. Explosion. Okay, well... Is there any interesting dialogue you get if you don't attack them? Uh, not really. I'd say most of the interesting kind of stuff is just... They all have journals. But those are just sitting in their little... 
bedroom, so it's not it's not something they see. <laughs> So like I said, she basically tells you to stay out of her way if you succeed the deception check. So. Gotcha. Well, I guess we can take their equipment. <laughs> yeah, now we can loot them. <laughs> I guess. Let me try this. I can't reach anyone because they're so far away, though. Nothing will stand in my way. With haste. Uh, are you gonna get hurt if I destroy the skeletal and Volker? Probably. Do you want me to do it anyway? Sure. Oh, it didn't. It doesn't explode unless it hatches. Okay. It, oh, he hatches anyways. Take you. Here you go. I stuck around and looted their chests when I had to see them. Uh, None of them noticed me because they're all blind. The starium was like right in front of one of them. And. I won't give him. still didn't even see him. Anyway. It's kind of fun going all out. Yeah. I started off with a, the flame strike from Shadowheart. Oh yeah? It's a 5d6 with a 5d6 fire. And a so, it's a 5d6 of fire and a 5d6 on radiant damage. Oh my gosh, nice. Yeah, Starion has a scorching ray spell, which is kind of like you can shoot a bunch of the rays out to various different targets, and it can do a lot of damage if you just target the same person with all of them anyway. And I almost never use it. <laughs> Alright, loot everyone. I'm gonna go loot their rooms again. I'm going to go oh, heal up. Fully. Yeah. Read. Okay. I already read it, so. Oh! I didn't pick this up last time. I will send that to Michael. Oh, Ruby Cage. Thanks. You're welcome. I know how much you like them. Is 
some of this stuff's worth money. My faith will guide me. Onward in her name. I found a new brain. Oh, is it one we had last time? I don't know. I don't remember which ones I sent to you or not. Closed mind. Never wanted the easy path. Mercrylite scourge and civilians side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Brown, brown, brown. All right, so I'm thinking we kill these intellect devourers before we begin the fight. Maybe. It'd probably help. The mind flares are kind of nasty. Did I pick up the journals here? I don't have journals. Yeah. Two, I think. Okay. I didn't think I missed this one the last time I did this. Oh, there it is. See. Um, okay. And up here. Oh, you're slaying all the intellect of ours. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the Healy spot. Well. Want me to kill the two by down by the docks? Uh, they're fine. I mean, they're not gonna really do anything, but maybe it's experience for just leaving on the table, you know? True. I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Oh, 
Nothing important is ever easy. Shall I cut and run? Forty experience, not Oops. bad. Look. It's not really much at this point, but it is something. And that one way. extra alchemy ingredient. Woohoo! Trust no one. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> Didn't really have much to heal other than the spell slots, I guess, but it's something. There's another one. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. I'll give it a shot. Hiya. This is where I was when you started that battle last time. Yeah. Wait, did the mind flares just magically appear or something? No, they're in the tubes. Oh, they're in here. Oh. I can't drop this. Drop what? I have a barrel. I mean, that's kind of bad because it too heavy. You just sent it to me. Um, Can you drop it? I mean, probably. Did you want me to put it somewhere in stick? Yes, underneath the mind flares. It's so glitchy. Did you want to free Mizora while I slowly move this over? No, we free him after. We free her afterwards. I already tried talking to her beforehand. Oh, you can't free her first. What am I to do? I mean, it's not like she helps or anything anyway. So. Uh, where's like the best one to put it next to? I don't know. Because some of them I are. I gave people. you another barrel. We don't want to hurt the people. Huh? I gave you another barrel. Oh, thank you. Um. I guess, like, over here. Okay. These create flame surface, basically, right? Probably. I don't know. It's brine. Uh, okay, so there, where do you want the other one? I don't know. Well, I know there were a couple mine flares that ended up over here, so maybe I'll just leave one well, here. Well, you can see them in the pods. No, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. I guess the ones I looked at were just empty or something. That's a person. Okay, so the mine flare's only right here. So 
So I'm gonna want to keep it there because I don't want to catch any of the people in there. That's a flare. That's a flare. That's a people. Move that there. Okay. This one might be kind of close to this person. That's There's like fine. two regular people beside that mind flare. On my way. Well, we can save. Okay. See what happens. I'm gonna back up. Because not being in that room was helpful last time. Okay, well, someone has to be in here. I know. Who do you want to sacrifice? Shadowheart? Okay. The connection with the device. And a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet alithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Release. Release. Astarian disapproves. I don't think I saw that. He one doesn't time. really approve of anything that puts himself in danger. Um, so Astarian's got fire. He can attack the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. It. It didn't hit anyone else, just the Mind Flare. Barely did it. He's wet now. Prevented from burning, resistant to fire damage, but vulnerable to lightning and cold. Oh, that's that's good. And he takes one to four damage when he's in the brain each turn. Now they see me. Guess you can hide. <laughs> Enough! My mind is my So far, I wouldn't get too close to that barrel. I don't think I can explode it without hitting him now. Although they think Shadowheart might have been too close anyway. Ha! I did extra damage to you because 
I have shocking grasp in your wet. Lightning and cold. This is a lightning. And you have ice knife. And I may as well do the big attack. Yes. up the intellect of ours now that they're dead. Doesn't make Dumb. sense. Jeez, 15. Oh, did I attack the wrong guy? <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm an idiot. They're not upset. <laughs> Probably could have killed that guy. <laughs> well, maybe not exactly. He's probably okay. You. I have a nine percent chance to work on that guy. Let's see. going a lot better than last time. Yeah, it helps when we're not in the room, I think. And the intellect of ours is already dead. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because these guys kind of handle the mind flares pretty easily. And the mind flares just come after us. So if they're busy trying to run towards us and then these guys are wailing on them and not the intellect of our room, there's not actually much they can do. Did you just... He's throwing... Javelins? Throwing stuff at him. Oh my gosh. I almost killed your buddy, but... It's no bad. They don't bad. seem to care, at least. Oh... Uh, What's in here? I do not. But if you know what happened, well, we were ambushed. Okay, you can talk to him again while I loot, I guess. Oh, don't That's walk in the brain. I can feel it in my throat. I'll never be rid of it. There'll be hells to pay for this. If I make it out here alive. Careful, idiots. I mean, that's honestly pretty much it around here. Oh, this guy wasn't looted. Who 
him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. They have you. Go, my friend. Please. Right, that's Let what you said. It. Never a dull moment. Um... Man, that didn't even hit me. Give it a shot. We're doing a perception check on this brine pool. No tadpoles in this brine pool. You idiot! A parasite. That pot. Take it. That it might be useful. Breathe deep and move. The last time I just did the first option and she was like you mean you didn't figure it out <laughs> oh yeah you should have figured it out by now so anyway oh I failed it this time. Both of them, wow. Um, well, okay. A long way to go still. It's a good thing I already knew of the good answer work. anyways. I'd give you a gold star. The first time I succeeded the left one and knew it means annihilate. <laughs> Which seemed a little extra, but... As for the pact... <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. If the soulbinder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. Six months until he's free? You little rat. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Dead serious. Don't let the smile fool you. I like the option. Right. I'm out of here. <laughs> that warlock's more trouble than it's worth. I'll yeah. It's your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. What does that it's even mean? It's a cracker of a tale. I don't know. Alright, is there anything else we need to do? I don't think so. I think we can just go down now. Onward. Looking ahead, light on my feet. There's like a single live intellect devourer. <laughs> Can you look on the map? I'll be cursed. What do you what? Um Oh yeah, it's just a ledge you can get up on. There's nothing oh, there. Okay. Alright, everyone aboard. 
Everyone's on board. Is anyone else's tampon squirming around the lobby as usual? It's almost like it's excited by something, drawn to it. Murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The absolute is behind this door. We're sneaky. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough, but what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here, if you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Bane. and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. They proved. It is time, faithful ones. March on. <laughs> 
Baldur's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Balmer's Gate. All right. All right, Astarian. Time to do the sneaky sneak. Why is he invisible on my screen? Where is he? Oh no. Hold on, let me remember. Enter turn-based mode is shift space. Megan, he's not invisible. I know he's not invisible. Okay. I'm getting as close as possible. I'm just making sure, you know. Is that blood? No, never mind. He's invisible now. Probably. Yeah, he's invisible. <laughs> Good. Are you gonna just do this fight with invisible Astarian? I'm gonna go for the, the night song. And then he won't be invisible anymore. <laughs> uh, did you want to crouch everyone again? No, it's fine. I don't think it really changed anything, so... You can turn your mage hand invisible. I think my mage hand is only invisible when it first gets summoned. You, you don't have an invisibility button? No. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. Absconded. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Impossible. You are bound to it, and in death it will bind you to me. That is the power my lord, Merkel, has granted me. Merkel. Command over the immeasurable not Marcus. of the dead. Marcus. But he did not only give me power... <laughs> I feel like Merkel started out as Marcus, and he's like, I need a new name. <laughs> Maybe. Merkel. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism. Yeah, but could you I just kill you now? Fall and backwards. Then I will raise you as my servant. Uh. Oh. That was a bad roll. I don't get to see that. Oh. I rolled a low number. Rip. Oh, I was one off this time. Roll again. Oh. Okay, well, that's... Oh, we got it. <laughs> you got it? Repent. Well, I... I have inspiration. Would that even How much be inspiration did you just use? Perhaps. I just re-rolled no. twice. Okay, so you used two no inspirations. Repentance. 
Yeah. Right no there. release. No, it's My that's debt fine. can never be repaid. I feel like using the inspiration for these checks aren't that bad. Yeah. Well, you don't really want to be full because then here. it's kind of useless whenever yeah. you get it. Yeah. You're like, ah, I'm inspired. Oh. She is listening. It's, it's not really worth thinking it too much. If you know you're like close to a big encounter like this, then it might be worthwhile. Max is like, oh no. <laughs> I hope we get Shadowheart's riveting contribution this time. I mean, she did deal the final blow. No, that's not what I meant. I meant her dialogue after this scene. Oh, what does she say? We'll see. Oh, I remember. Necromites need to go. Anything else? I and mean, last time I didn't really have any problems with this battle. But I do think it would get much harder if we left the Necromites alive. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the mind flares because he basically just kills them anyways. He missed. But I mean, his we'll see. mind flare. I mean, the intellect powers. I'm not bothering with those. But the mind flare. That. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Apostle of Merkel. Let's see if I can avoid getting pulled in if I go over here. Oh, they're they're dashing, Megan. For some reason, Shadowheart doesn't have any... She can't do anything. Why? Uh, I don't know. But this seems to keep happening. Not enough movement. I can't reach them. She didn't do anything. I don't think she was crouching. Well, I thought he was gonna do a pull in. There we go. I 
Got you. Yep. Here she goes, basically destroying the Apostle of Herkel, just like last time. She just walks away. And we need then... to get rid of this Necromite. He's right next to him. That's a problem. Just like last time, Triss isn't going to get to do anything, huh? She's already frightened again. There, you can fight him. Oh! Not if he stuns me! This is like exactly what happened last time. I couldn't move. to do it to her. I thought I was... Uh, I thought I got Sunbeam on work.
What are you thinking? I try to decide if I should just attack this, I guess. Um, I don't know. You can probably attack Apostle Merkel. Do you have any big hurt? Uh, not anything super huge. This can do twenty-four. Huh? Wait. It doesn't have any like. My big hurt is from sneak attacks, but it doesn't work on Merkel. Can't be sneaked. No, doesn't seem like it. Well. Do you have anything you could like throw at him, maybe? Okay, no, he saw me. Um, do you have arrows? I do, but that doesn't really help. Do you want to throw a bomb? I've got bombs. Just bombs. Oh, you have a smoke I, that's powder not bomb. any better than what he can do with the spell, though. Oh, Who's this spell? Yeah. I think I will just cast my thunder orb. Oh, that's not very up, likely to hit up, now, is it? You can upcast too. It too. I don't think I can upgrade. Click on this. it. Click on it. See number oh, two. Man. It's still not very likely to hit though. Okay. I don't know. You can do whatever. Could just magic missile, I guess. If that'll work. Although I can't just take this out, I guess. Yeah. Didn't quite finish it off though. You dumb and frightened, though. I was worried about oh, the dang. concentration. Oh, she's almost dead. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I was looking at us being like, well, no one really needs healed here. <laughs> I forgot to look at her. I think by this time, the last time I did this, she was... True strike and then done the big attack. Uh, strike. can he heal Dame? Aelin? The star doesn't have healing. Can he throw a healing potion? Um. That had mixed results, remember? Throw, throw it on the ground next to him. But yeah, but I don't think it really helped last time. I don't know what you're talking about. 
The last time we did it, it just killed Shadowheart. But like, even when we threw it next to her, it didn't do anything. Remember? Maybe it worked. It it, work. It's worked before. Yeah, and then they updated it and it stopped. I don't think it worked. Hey, forget it. Huh? I said forget it. Triss can heal her. Let's have a little fun. As uh, so long as she's not, yeah, she's not too far away. Before it gets worse. Take care. We can also just kill him. I guess yeah. that works too. <laughs> Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord. Hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Someone should go smash in his head. fealty. Do what you must, and we fly this foul place. Indeed. Okay, looties. The Chosen of Merkel is dead. Flip. In death, the body is cooling. Energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. Do, the crown do, do, it wears do. controls it. And these stones control the crown. See, it has they're not purple. To master an elder brain. She's fine. To She's subdue it. Yeah, I thought Our you said yours was purple. Formidable. Huh? I thought you said yours was purple. No, I just said that one of her eyes was purple. Oh, no, I think they look purple in the dream scape. Oh, like the glowy whatever. The crown's yeah. markings suggest it was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I mean, I, I guess it I doesn't really matter it is doing to the brain. if we do the restoration thing. I'm guessing we're yeah, gonna. Yeah, I think we can just leave after we loot everything. Go to camp. Did you get the books? 
No. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into Mind Flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the Brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Alright, I got everything. Cool. Time to jump in the portal. Yep. If you've got your breath, we ought to discuss our next steps. Alright, I think we can call it good. Okay. We redid everything. Well, we didn't talk to all these guys again, but that's fine. No. I guess we can do that next time. Yes. Um...